During the 1970s, an ingenious apparatus called oxygen concentrator was invented. Here is a very simplified explanation of how it works. This device can produce 90 or 95 percent pure oxygen and eliminates the need to use heavy oxygen cylinders, which in some cases have to be replaced daily, which comes out quite expensive if they are needed for several months. Inside the oxygen concentrator, there's a small air compressor labeled here with the letter C and an air purifying filter labeled F. The dust-free air coming out from the compressor enters a cartridge labeled here as X1. Inside the cartridge, there is a substance known as zeolite which is made of porous crystals and acts as a sieve, since oxygen has a slightly smaller molecular size than nitrogen, allowing oxygen to go through and stopping nitrogen. This way, 90 or 95 percent pure oxygen flows out from the outlet port of the cartridge X1. At the same time, the pure oxygen outlet port also feeds some oxygen to another cartridge labeled X2. But in this case, it runs backwards in order to clean X2 of any nitrogen molecules it might have, steering them towards an exhaust pipe E, dumping it out to the atmosphere. By doing this, the X2 cartridge stays clean while the X1 cartridge is working. As expected, after a certain period, the X1 cartridge sieve becomes clogged by nitrogen molecules, so performance begins to decline. To guarantee continuous operation, a control circuit then activates three double solenoid operated valves, labeled Z1, Z2, and Z3, which swap the connections of the X1 and X2 cartridges, so the clean cartridge X2 now takes the place of clogged cartridge X1, and the flow of oxygen to the patient's mask is not interrupted, while in the meantime, the X1 cartridge starts to be cleaned. Let's do it one more time. While X1 cartridge delivers oxygen to the patient, X2 cartridge is being cleaned. Then the valves are switched around and now X2 cartridge delivers oxygen to the patient while X1 cartridge is being cleaned. This process goes on and on, providing oxygen for the patient for as long as the compressor, valves, and control circuits get electrical power to keep it working. Broadly speaking, this is the operating cycle of an oxygen concentrator. I hope this brief explanation has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Chavatarin.